Well, a quarter past ten in the morning, except not quite. This is simply part of the everyday touring musicians' excitements. A change of time zones, interesting night views. Welcome to the life of a working player. So there has been a, a lot of expression of interest in the operation of the right hand. We assume we have a left hand, we assume we have a right hand, we assume the two coordinate together. Well we've had a brief look at the left hand last week, so the right hand. So first of all, the positioning of the right hand. The position of the right hand is clearly of importance. So how to get a sense of that on a video when we're not, we're not here face to face. So if we imagine a straight line from the elbow through the second finger, this gives us a sense of the position of the right wrist in respect to the right arm. From this point, there is a release and a return. Release and return. Conventionally, in alternate picking, the expression is down and upstroke. Well, as a shorthand, perhaps. But this implies an amount of effort which is not actually engaged. So if we sense here we are in a position of readiness, holding the pick, we'll get to that in a moment, holding the pick, a downstroke, as conventionally expressed, is simply a release of the wrist and a return. The elbow anchors the arm to the body, but once again this, this implies a degree of effort and fixity which actually isn't involved. If we were playing, for example, innovation acoustic, the elbow would sit gently on the body like this. However, because the Les Paul and many electric instruments are much smaller or shaped differently, this part of the arm rests gently on the guitar. But once again, the term rest isn't quite applicable. We're not resting, we're in a position of readiness. Ideally, this part of the guitar would be scalloped and there are a small number of guitar players of my acquaintance who are looking at scalloping the guitars. So, here we are. The right arm supported by the guitar. The motion is very straightforward. Release and return, release and return, release and return. Now that's already a very large movement. The strings are fairly thin, fairly thin. Very little effort is needed. So we move on to holding the pick. And this is yet another world of pain. So two picks I have here. One is from my life supply of Herodin picks. and another modelled on the Herodim picks by Mr. Hiroshi Ekatani in Japan with the Guitar Circle logo on it. So, how do we hold the pick? Here we are. There's the right hand. Now we move to more details. 
the ball of the thumb here. Fingers gently held together. The pick is held on the side of the first digit of the first finger by the thumb. The thumb moves to the side of the first digit of the first finger from the joint in the ball of the thumb. I hesitate before showing you how not to do things. This is how not to do it. Ball of the thumb collapse. Thumb moves. The angle of the pick changes. Tone is lost. So look, here we are. Pick on the side of the first digit of the first finger. Thumb moves from the thumb joint. Now, my first finger digit is twisted. This is congenital. If my first finger joint were not slightly twisted, I would be holding the pick like this. But my first finger joint is twisted, so here we have it. So the arm is supported by the guitar at or close to the elbow. The elbow brings the hand to where the wrist releases and returns. So, very simply this. We begin with one string. We move to two strings. We move to three strings. At this point, the elbow is employed. The elbow brings the hand to where the wrist releases and returns. Otherwise, for example, we begin to get the wrist moving over the four strings. So for this, we begin one string, very simple. Two, very slight accommodation in the elbow. When we move to three strings, the elbow is more fully engaged. When we move to four strings, this becomes more obvious. In a sense, there is a slight throwing of the hand. Once again, I hesitate before showing common errors and mistakes. This is one of them. The wrist is twisted up. Here is another one. The wrist is thrown down. The immediate effect of this is to change the angle of the pick as it hits the string. So for example, on a, a wang string, becomes up, the tension is increased in the wrist and along the arm, so our pecking becomes constrained. Another corridor, and here we are. 
technical preparations for that awful man and his very nice manager. There's a shop over there called Momo Fuku, but I'm wondering how that might be pronounced. <laughs> 